the papacy of Pope Francis. What's your approach to such questions? The first, of course, it, it's a very sad phenomenon, even a tra tragedy, uh, all these um, uh, actions of Pope Francis, which you mentioned. Now, recently, it is basically he's, uh, he's using uh, the papacy, such a sacred, the most sacred mission in the church of Peter, is using this, in this case, abusing, to be a supporter basically of the worldwide LGBT agenda of the gender ideology, even, even though he affirms that um, the doctrine of the church will not change, even though he several times said that we must not accept the ideology of the gender, but de facto he is supporting them with his actions, with his praxis. And this is a typical <clears throat> method of the modernism in the last century already, since the modernism came in the church a hundred years ago or more, and especially after the council, that they say, let us separate from one to the doctrine and then the praxis could be different. This is contrary to revelation and contrary to logics and uh, common sense. This is a dialectic of, of the modern unbelieving philosophy of Hegel, let us say, and Marx, <clears throat> which says we, our, we have to stress the praxis. Uh, the doctrine is not important. And so in this way, Pope Francis is continuing uh, giving these signs, uh, very confusing, uh, by his actions he is undermining and contradicting his own words and the teaching of the Church. And this is very sad. But God permitted this. It is not in our power. We cannot change this. God permitted it. We have to see this phenomenon of this pontificate also in the supernatural vision uh, because we are not a human institution, we are not an NGO, we are not a par political party, where we could depose uh, the leader. No, the Pope receives his uh, power directly from God, not from the cardinals, not from the Church, but directly from God. This is Catholic doctrine. And therefore, no, body of the church, no cardinals, no council can declare the pope deposed because of some crimes, let us say, moral crimes or doctrinal crimes, in this case, supporting heresy. Uh, 